everyone, Sloth here. I've put some DZ stuff in the background so that you can enjoy that ride while we have a little chat. Before I get started here, I'd like to just preface this video by saying that everything I'm about to talk about is purely my opinion. You can downvote and dislike me into the ground for it if you wish. If your jimmies are easily rustled, just close the video. I've Put some something for you to watch here if you just want to look at some uh, murder of some people if you want to i have a confession to make and it is about the game we like to play called the division i hate to break this to you but the division isn't for casual players and i know what you're thinking this elitist prick is trying to tell me how to play my game Nothing could be further from the truth. What I am trying to tell you is that Massive has designed a game that doesn't cater to you. It just doesn't right now. It's just how it is. It may change, but this is how it is right now. And the onus is on them to make something that is balanced and reflects the wishes of the general player base. Just a fact. It's up to Massive. And I think to that end, they have made some pretty decent strides for a company that is told what to do by Ubisoft, this gigantic corporate game-making entity. If you're any kind of gamer, you know that Ubisoft has put out some massive, that pun is not intended, uh, just stinkers for games. You know which ones I'm talking about here lately, and that... The Division, thankfully, by and large, isn't one of those. They put out a game that a lot of people enjoyed. Some people liked the immersion of creeping down an alleyway in the dark zone by yourself, or finally, you know, downing Colonel Bliss's chopper. There's a lot to be enjoyed with this game. It's got an okay story, decent. But the thing is, is over the past few years, I have seen more and more gamers feeling more entitled. Mass Effect 3 ending comes to mind. And while I won't sit here and defend Massive's game even as much as I've had fun playing it, you guys need to just chill out. Things are going to come. And if you're not happy, I suggest putting the game down and revisiting it maybe in six months and seeing where it is. Don't think that I don't see where you guys are coming from. I mean, the exploits are rampant. On PC, the hackers have been ridiculous, even for me. I could not step into the Dark Zone and go manhunt without some dude one-shotting me with an M60 or some other such gun that shouldn't be able to do that, and then teleporting away. Gone. The other day, I followed some rogue skulls on the map, to a wall where folks had glitched through and they were abusing the Dark Zone experience system by shooting one guy who was also in the wall with them but was outside of their group so that they could level up. There are a multitude of both PvE and PvP exploits, glitches, and other nefarious things going on, but one question I'd like to pose is this. Are you without sin? Specifically talking to PC players because more is possible for you than the console guys are you I bet not and has your personal enjoyment of this game been enhanced or curtailed by that sin I'd be willing to bet enhanced and the simple fact is that everyone likes to step on the guy that isn't doing it. I saw what I thought was a pretty good explanation of this on reddit earlier this is not a I'm paraphrasing here but an item level 165 guy is being put in the same bracket as an item level 200 player, and that's like trying to race a Ferrari with a riding lawnmower. Maybe the guy with the Ferrari has worked harder to get it, be it legitimate or otherwise, but they shouldn't be in the same race. The thing is, you need to understand that the lawnmower isn't something you should carry to the racetrack. The entitled gamer, we're going back to this guy, Instead, just complains that there are too many cars in the race and they need to build a track just for lawnmowers. I'm sorry if you're a lawnmower. Maybe you do need your own track. I'm in full support of that. But 
what I can tell you from running around in the DZ myself, if you run against a group like mine who isn't perfectly min max but knows their stuff, has good good set gear already, you are going to get just as crushed as if you did have our stuff, if you don't have our stuff. Because we're coordinated and we know what we're doing. As with any game where gear is a factor, gear does not in any way denote skill. And if you think I haven't been killed by a gear score 160 guy who popped explosive rounds and got a few nice crits, you'd be absolutely wrong. Everyone gets wrecked. Anyways, back to the point of the video. The Division isn't a game for casuals. It's awesome and has all the fairly decent elements of a AAA title until one little milestone. Level 30. At level 30, the division becomes a grind fest. A grind for Dark Zone level, a grind for more gear, a grind for Phoenix credits. The list goes on and on and on. And whether, whether or not you like that kind of thing is up to you. But it's not for casual players. And a lot of my own personal group realized this right off the bat. We're not your run-of-the-mill gamers. We come from World of Warcraft, where time invested is directly beneficial to your character. Very much like The Division. We come from survival shooters like DayZ. And I'm not talking about the survival shit fest that is DayZ standalone. We're talking about the mod here, guys. This was a game where griefing people and taking their stuff is all you do. If you want to know why someone is standing over you, waiting for you to die after you get killed by a mob, just so they can take your stuff, it's players like us. If you want to know why you seem to instantly die, it's because we're running around with guns and gear that we had to craft 10, 20 times to get right. One guy in our group, no kidding, made 100 vectors. Never got a proper roll. He just ended up building a, a new AUG when the patch came in. If you only have a couple hours a day to log in and mess around, you might be able to hit some PvE stuff with your buddies, mess around in the sub I level 161 Dark Zone. Do that, if that's your thing. But don't step into my Ferrari race with your lawnmower and expect to be Mario Andretti. I'm not saying stay out of my pro zone and eat quick, scro quick scopes, you fucking scrub. I'm not saying that. XD. But don't come in wearing purples and expect results. Come prepared. Get some friends. Even I can't run around in the DZ solo, go rogue, and expect to live. Chock full of gear as I am. Do your regular challenge modes. Equip some junk gear and run around in the sub I level uh, 161 dark zone until you're comfortable. It's dropping the same loot. And if you're on PC and you run into some hackers, or if you're on console and you, you got some guys griefing you every time you step out of the checkpoint go outside join matchmaking any matchmaking will do get in that group and switch instances you can leave that group right away as long as you join matchmaking and get a loading screen you can get a new instance of a dark zone with totally new people totally new stuff going on Maybe you'll have better luck. We've all had to do it. Especially if you're a PC player. You, we've all had to do that. But don't just sit there and get wrecked and complain about getting wrecked and just not do anything about it. This game isn't built with a casual player in mind. PvE or PvP. They will more than likely change things to make it easier for everyone. They will probably, going back to my analogy, well, the analogy I borrowed from Reddit anyway, give you guys your own racetrack where you can play and i think anyone who isn't just an asshole is in full support of doing that in the meantime we're just gonna have to work within the systems we're given and if you don't like it don't play that's the greatest way to send these guys a message is to just not play their game if you fundamentally disagree with the way that they're doing things maybe it just isn't for you maybe it is and you'll just rise to the challenge but think about what's going on with the game right now and what you can do to change it from your end. Because that's what you have power over. Anyway, that's pretty much my message for today. 
thanks for watching if you made it all the way through the video congratulations on that I've made a few other division videos this week, each in kind of a different style. I've got a gear guide and a couple of walkie through ish things if you want to check those out. Leave a like or a sub if you like what you see because there's definitely a lot more on the way. But other than that, have a good one all around the world. And until next time.